I go, that's exactly the same way they're trying to take out Jesus. They're trying to take out me. Okay, I'm like one of those dudes. If they wrote the Bible back then, they'd put me in it. Man. I'm not even lying. That you would be in the Bible? I would definitely be in the Bible, I go. But what have you done t- for people? Like, look at me. Of course I'm gay. Come on, Jay. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. You gave me your phone. Let me take a picture. Let me take pictures of you. Oh, my God. This is going to be amazing. Okay, sisters. I want everybody to comment gay station or I'm gay station. Whoa, what's wrong with my face? Oh. Did you do this to me? Oh, you know what I think? It's me? not a prank. It's not oh, a prank. My, dude, look at my shirt. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro, what happened? Oh, my God. Look at my face. You took the gay potion. Look at bro. my nails. You took the gay potion, bro. What do you mean I took the gay potion? I swear to God, you took the gay potion. No way, bro. I you gave it to me. No, no, Kermit the Frog oh, gave it to you. Kermit. Yeah, Kermit gave oh, you the gay God. potion. Hello everyone, me Diesel. Today we'll be looking at my favorite 3AM YouTuber. I'm Jay Station. Jay is a YouTuber who did multiple challenges but became famous for his controversial 3AM videos. He claimed to communicate with multiple celebrities who recently passed away using an Ouija board. Naturally, many commentators, myself included, jumped on this. It seemed like he had no morals and this would be the new norm for 3AM videos. But after many commentary channels, again, myself included, covered the major trouble he was in after faking his girlfriend's death, the channel started to roll downhill and was eventually deleted. Appreciate the intro, Diesel. Aziz Ansari here, and this is the rise and fall of I'm Jay Station. I just want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Adam and Eve. And no, 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 not the biblical people, but rather the trusted adult sex shop that's been around for 50 years. They sell a variety of toys, lingerie, lubes, or if you're like me, then you're gonna want their bondage equipment. One thing that's really cool about them is that they donate 20% of their profits to fight the spread of HIV. That's really noble and I hope you choose them for your sexual escapades because it supports a good cause. If you go to adamandeve.com and use the promo code J, you will get 50% off one item as well as free shipping to anywhere in the US or Canada. They also offer 24-7 customer service and 90-day returns. Thank you so much Adam and Eve for supporting the channel, it really means a lot. I love you guys. I'm Jay Station's real name is Jason Ethier and he was born on February 14th, 1990 in Canada. He originally started on YouTube with the channel called Jay Station in 2015. On it, he posted multiple 24-hour challenges but had to abandon that account after YouTube demonetized it in November 2016 due to trespassing charges. He then made a new channel called I'm Jay Station and continued uploading his challenges and made his infamous 3AM videos. These videos exploded in popularity because they featured clickbait thumbnails that attracted a young audience. And in July 2017, his new channel reached 1 million subscribers. In early 2018, Jay stirred major controversy when he uploaded a video called Overnight in the Japanese Suicide Forest Challenge right after Logan Paul did in his infamous debacle. As a result, he was called out by Keemstar on Twitter for exploiting the event for views, especially since he revealed he planned to visit the forest the same day Logan's story broke. However, the video was taken down. Jay then fired shots back at Keemstar, rage-tweeting him about 20 times. He then released a video defending his actions by stating that it wasn't a bad thing to want views. Okay, so my goal is to get the most views. Obviously, that's not a bad thing. Stop saying it is. Stop saying it is. You jealous. You jealous. Stop. Stop saying this bad thing to want views, bro. Okay, I know my audience, dude. Is it my, is it my fault that people want to click? People want to click on a dead body more than a pitcher that doesn't have it okay so man stop sending hate at me bro people in majority want to click on that video more if there's a dead guy in it what's that say nothing about me it doesn't doesn't say nothing about me ask the community why they, why they want to click on that video more than if i than if i was just standing there beside a tree bro i want as many people to click on that shit as possible duh duh okay now as a as a video creator how am i gonna get across what we did in that video the best okay we went in there and we found some items of dead people bro i can't just hold up a tin can bro i have to get the the message across that something went down dude that something crazy happened Whatever. The movie posters in the movie theater, bro, they don't gotta be actual thumbnails from the movie clip. They stand there in a pose. They make the most exciting picture possible for people to click on, dude. 
I want to be a big fucking YouTuber, bro. So chill. Chill. Fed up, Keem posted this on Twitter. Listen, fool, at I'm J Station, you claimed I'm a leech, right? Your untalented, uncreative ass was so desperate for views you had to leech off the at Logan Paul suicide forest vid. And if my fans did flag your vid, then you running your bitch ass mouth will not help you in the future. Overall, the entire situation reflected very poorly on Jay. However, since he garnered the views that he wanted from the exposure, he simply moved on. One month later, he found himself embroiled in drama once again when he uploaded a video called Do Not Play Fortnite at 3 a.m. In it, he played Fortnite but used footage of another smaller YouTuber named Lechu's CZ. And when Lechu's found out about this, he asked Jay to take it down, but he claimed Fortnite owned the footage. Hi Jay, see that you use my gameplay in your video. Why is that? Please remove it, you do not have my permission. Bitch, KYS, I can use the gameplay if I want. I'm getting way more views off of your original video on mine. Fortnite owns it, not you. Fortunately though, YouTube took down the video after a copyright request. In March 2018, I'm Jay Station was arrested at Disney World. It all started when he got upset that a bag with his camera equipment got lost after he put it in a security scanner. He and his friend were convinced that a guard had actually taken his bag. He was told to leave, got upset, and was arrested. Somebody stole from me and you're kicking me out, bro. Then as he's leaving, Etye is arrested. The charge, trespassing and resisting arrest. Ironically though, the situation just boosted his notoriety and he reached 2 million subscribers in April 2018. As time went on, Jay continued his quest to get as many views as possible. To do this, he developed a new strategy that capitalized on the recent deaths of celebrities. And I mean recent. In June 2018, Jay Station was criticized for posting a video called XXX Tentacion, a Ouija board challenge at 3am gone wrong right after he passed away. Jay then heard multiple knocks and the board supposedly spelled demon. Spell out positivity. Yo, yo, what the frick? That scared this bro. Yo. The freaking noise, dude. The candle right now is flickering right now. Demon, dude, it just spelled out demon, spell demon okay. like so fast. Let's take a, can we say goodbye? Wait, wait, we gotta okay, get wait, out of here, wait, man. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Let's find out, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm freaking. Let's ask what the demon's name is. Okay. One more question. What the frick? What the hell, bro, bro? He ended by finding a random box and said that he would open it if the video got a hundred thousand likes. What the hell? No one touch it. It's a box. What the, what it's a doing? box. It's a box. What the hell? Whoa! Oh, what oh, the oh, freak, oh, 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 guys? What the hell? Yo, I see there's something in here. That. What the hell? Don't open, it. Don't, open it. don't open it. Bleeding or something? Definitely don't open that. Don't what the hell? Dude. Anything bleeding from the dude, inside? This is wax shut. It's shut with wax. What the hell, dude? Oh, there's something in there. You hear something clunking around in there. Dude, this is a brand new house. We gotta hit 100,000. 100K. And we'll open this, guys. Smash the like button right now for XXX Tentacion. We actually communicated with him. Many quickly picked up on how the video was clearly staged. The two knocks also sounded identical, indicating that they were edited in. Understandably, many people were extremely upset at how disrespectful the video was to X and his family. In September 2018, he repeated his strategy and posted a video two days after Mac Miller died called Rip Mac Miller Spirit Box Challenge at 3 a.m speaks about Ariana Grande. In it, he stated that his favorite thing about Mac was that he dated Ariana Grande but mispronounced her name. One of my favorite things about Mac Miller is he dated Ariana Grande. This girl is like my dream girl. I would do anything to just date this girl. And Mac Miller actually did it, guys. Big shout out to him for that. Jay then turned on a speaker which played static and showed a Mac Miller music video with the opacity turned down and claimed he was trying to talk to him. He ended by saying that every like was a prayer for Mac Miller's family which perturbed the YouTube community as it was a clear ploy to manipulate the algorithm. In September 2019, Jay made a video mere hours after the YouTuber Etika committed suicide. Although he didn't use an Ouija board, he mocked depression. These YouTubers are doing this, making five different videos about being depressed. Bro, I'm sad too, bro. But I'm not about to say I got depression, dude. Because you know what, man? If you didn't feel like Etika did, you don't got depression, my dude. You don't got depression. You're doing it for attention. So next time you sad, suck it up, bruh, and just give your, your, your fans what they want to see. Jay also put ads on his video and said other YouTubers who don't put ads just want to attract viewers for their future videos. Who cares if you don't put YouTube ads on? You're doing it for attention, because Buddy dies and you're going to get 500,000 people watching you that you never did before, bro. They're going to watch your future videos that got ads on them, bruh. He then claimed if people actually cared, then they should donate money. Put some money, bro. You got 200000 on Patreon a month, dude. Not including your YouTube channel. Donate, bro. Don't pretend like, oh, oh so, I'm so sad. It's, it, it bothers me so much. But you can't put a dollar in. You didn't even put a dollar. 
Not one dollar. But he didn't put YouTube ads on. Is he doing it for attention? They're doing just what I did in a different way. This resulted in some ordinary gamers and Critical getting pissed off and making Critical, no pun intended, videos of Jay. In response, he wrote a comment that said YouTube should ban commentary channels. Let's go round two. Let's do two in a week and see if you can change. Anyone who made a vid saying I almost died was fake can make a new one about when I really died now. It's your fault, bro. This world is so messed up, I don't want no part in it. The beautiful die young. Leave all you ugly Fs behind me. Actually toxic man. YouTube need to ban these commentary channels for real. In June 20. 2019, Jay released a video called I Almost Died Last Night. In it, he stated that he was robbed, assaulted, and almost murdered. He then claimed he thought his attackers were going to kill him with a sledgehammer. I thought this buddy was gonna f slam this hammer right in my fucking face. I said, take whatever you want, man. I don't got no money. Take my computers and shit. They took absolutely nothing from my house, man. Right after posting the video, though, Critical called bullshit. But anyway, he's still making 3AM content. It's still all bad. But something caught my eye. He posted this video saying he almost died last night, so that really piqued my interest and I clicked on it, and it's, I can say with nearly 100% certainty, it's completely fake and he made it all up. Ultimately, many people came to the conclusion that Jay once again clickbaited his young audience for views and profit. In January 2020, I'm Jay Station uploaded a video titled My Girlfriend Alexia Died, Rest in Paradise. In it, he said his girlfriend was fatally struck by a drunk driver. What's up guys? I never wanted to make a video like this, ever. But last night, Last night, we lost Alexia to a drunk driver, guys. He also got his friend Ahmed Mo TV to make a similar video. I never really wanted to make this video, but as you guys know, something crazy just happened. <laughs> so my friend Jay just lost his girlfriend, Alexia, guys. She was such a good roommate. She was such a great friend, guys. We used to do everything together. Like all three of us used to do the craziest stuff together and now she's gone like <laughs> We lost her <laughs> Sorry, I need a minute guys. Oh my god. We just lost her in a car accident. Oh my god Horrifically, he then made a 3 a.m. Ouija board challenge with his dead girlfriend. In it, Jay sounded creepily happy and enthusiastic given the circumstances. In addition, he asked people to like the video and said that one like equaled one prayer. What's poppin' guys? Back with another 3 a.m. challenge. As you guys know, my girlfriend Alexia just passed away in a tragic accident, guys. I cannot get over her, guys. I miss her so freaking much. A ton of you guys actually been commenting on my videos to talk to her on the Ouija board, guys. A lot of you guys just want to hear one last thing from her, guys. So do I. I miss her so much. The last thing I actually said to her was, Babe, can you pick me up some Popeyes before you come back? And she she never came back guys. I need to say a proper goodbye guys. So tonight we're gonna talk to her on the Ouija board guys. We're doing the Ouija board challenge on my dead girlfriend. Let's smash the like button right now guys. One like equals one prayer for Alexia guys. Rest in peace. He also had Ahmed reveal that his own girlfriend had passed away previously and that he was able to contact her using an Ouija board which inspired Jay's idea. What's good Jay Nation? When I was a kid I actually had a girlfriend and she passed away. So I ended up using a Ouija board on her and she actually contacted me and she told me that she missed me. So hopefully today when Jay tries to contact his dead girlfriend Alexia, she will actually respond using the Ouija board. Jay then showed that Alexia wasn't in heaven. So why is she not okay then? Alexia, are you in heaven right now? No, 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 no. no. Oh my god. Alexia, what is wrong? Why, why don't you go to, uh, 
Why aren't you in heaven? He then capitalized on her death by saying that her goal was to get 1 million subscribers on their second channel, Dream Team. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. You do not want to miss it. It's a banger video. Her dream was to get 1 million subscribers, guys. She was going to get it until she passed away, guys. Could we make her dream come true? It's up to you guys. However, Mudahar, who was also Canadian, did some digging and posted this on Twitter. JayStation is lying about his dead girlfriend. I've spent the entire night browsing and checking with police department in Toronto and Ottawa. No police reports, no local news agencies, and worst of all, no family is confirming. I'm done with YouTube. I'm dumb for feeling sorry. I legitimately felt so bad for hearing about the death of this person. I wish I didn't try and look into it and lie to myself instead. I'm clenching my fist and rip some blood out realizing that some face actually lied about dying like this. I'm so mad. He then uploaded a video expressing his rage at the situation. So I've been uh, drinking tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you know, a little bit, three in the morning. And uh, I've been, uh, I'm, I'm actually really sad. And I'm actually at all, uh, all, all manners of completely enraged and completely angry. Now you may be wondering what has triggered me in such a, in such a way. He drew attention to the fact that Jay placed ads on the video and linked his merch, indicating everything was just an engineered publicity stunt for monetary gain. In December 2019, he sunk further into depravity and revealed he was going to buy a slave from the dark web. What up, Papa, guys? I've ordered everything possible from the dark web, guys. We've ordered a child from the dark web. Even my girlfriend came from the dark web, guys. But during all of these dark web videos, I've noticed that there has actually been slaves for sale on the dark web, guys. Actual slaves that people can buy to do everything for them, guys. Obviously, I do not support slavery at all, guys. So tonight, we are going to buy one of these slaves and set him free, guys. He then showed a black guy with a bag over his head who tried to clean him with a lint roller. Jay, he's getting close to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is he doing? Yeah. Oh! Guys, what the hell? Why is he? What is that? Is that a lint roller? He's cleaning me, guys. What the freak? Oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh my god, guys. He's cleaning me. He's like de linting my clothes. Why is he doing that? I don't know. There's a freaking out. Oh my god. Money's worth? Okay, okay, that's enough. I think he's okay. That's enough. Oh my god, guys. This is freaking insane. He's cleaning. Oh my god, Ahmed. This is insane. Naturally, this video received intense ridicule, but one month later, things exploded. On January 27, 2020, Jason uploaded a shocking video called Alexia Marano The Truth About Her. And basically, guys, what I need to tell you is that Alexia is gone. Alexia was never dead at all. Later in the video, he cried and stated he dropped out of high school, ran away from home, and had a criminal record. He also said he joined the army, which to date hasn't been verified. I don't have a high school diploma. I dropped out of high school in grade nine. I got a criminal record from when I was younger. I ran away from home when I was a kid. I got in all kinds of trouble, man. My parents, my parents used to like fuck me up when I was a kid and I ran away from home. I turned myself, I turned my life around. I joined the army. Jay went on to say he came up with the idea of faking Alexia's death to boost their Dream Team channel to help her. So we thought of the idea. Actually, I thought the, about the idea. What if we fake your death? And then... Do a skit on YouTube, pranking everybody. Saying it was... Just a just to gain traction on the Dream Team channel. He even revealed he planned to resurrect her. And we were gonna resurrect her and get more followers on our Dream Team channel. He then stated that Alexia's dad didn't like the videos and threatened to tell the news if Jay didn't reveal the truth. She just got off the phone with her dad and her dad's yelling at her. She, he, he wants me to say to the world that it was just a prank. She's, Alexia's not really dead or he was gonna go to the news and tell everybody. After that, he said Alexia left him when he was sleeping, then told police that he assaulted her. And then I woke up at 4 p.m. instead of 2 p.m. and I thought she was gone to get food, but 
I noticed all of her cologne in the bathroom was gone. I noticed her laptop was gone. Her purse is gone. She didn't take my keys for the elevator and my building that I live in. So I realized like something was going on. She wasn't answering all my texts. I noticed that all my previous texts from her were all deleted into my phone. Like she went in my phone, deleted all our pictures. She deleted our conversations. I go onto my laptop. She deleted videos that we recorded together on my laptop. And then all of a sudden, police knock on my door. They say, there's a warrant for your arrest. And I say, why? And they say, for assault with a weapon and assault. So an assault and an assault with a weapon from your girlfriend. Alexia then made a response video called Alexia is Alive, Truth About I'm Jay Station, Alexia Murano. In it, she said Jay was possessive and limited her social media use. Jay decided to take my phone and look through every single message I had on my text, every single message on my Instagram, on my Twitter. Even though these messages weren't even bad and were from years before I even met Jay, Jay still thought that because of these messages, I was gonna cheat on him. I would never do that, guys. I would never cheat on someone in a million years. Jay told me that he does not want me to have Instagram. He does not want me to have Facebook. He does not want me to have Snapchat. He wanted to completely erase all of my social media. And you guys have to understand that this is not a normal thing for someone to ask of someone in a relationship. She then stated Jay initially planned to have his roommate Ahmed die, but suddenly asked if she would. So I was in Ottawa at one point, I think for my grandma's funeral, and then I came back and then Jay tells me that him and Ahmed had this idea that Ahmed should die in a car accident and that there could be a series of videos from that and then eventually Ahmed would come back to life and be back in the videos. So when he was telling me this, he started looking at me and then he said, hmm, actually Alexia, I think it would be a lot better if you're the one who dies. However, she revealed the idea made her very uncomfortable. And immediately I was super uncomfortable. I did not think it was okay, especially since lots of you guys are younger. I did not want to play with people's emotions like that at all, especially with something as serious as death, especially that my dad is so sick right now. Alexia ended by stating the backlash was very intense and made her feel sick. So when other people were watching it on YouTube for the first time, I was also watching it on YouTube for the first time. I did not appreciate the fact that he said the crash was about a drunk driver. That really, really made me feel sick to my stomach. And I don't think it's cool to joke about that at all in any way. I had friends messaging me from Ottawa. I had family members being harassed. I was getting thousands of phone calls. My family was getting thousands of phone calls. My dad, who's so sick is getting so many phone calls and my aunts and my uncles and my uncle who has a business and has clients, his clients were asking him about me saying, is Alexia dead or not? And meanwhile, I was not allowed to say anything to anyone and all these people are out there worrying about me sick and I was just there not being able to do anything. And when asked by her dad to come clean, Jay demanded an apology letter from him. My dad is telling me that he needs you to tell the world that I'm alive or he's gonna go to the news himself and tell them. So then Jay ends up getting really mad, saying, tell your dad to not block my money. I don't get a part of his business. He shouldn't get a part of mine. At the end of that conversation, he said, why don't you tell your dad to write me an apology letter? In response, I'm Jay Station released another video that accused Alexia of trying to ruin his life. Alexia is literally trying to ruin my life right now, guys. Imagine waking up in the morning and your girlfriend is just gone. She breaks up with you, not only without even telling you, but without even texting you about it. And then she goes to the police and lies saying I assaulted her with a weapon. That sounds crazy. I've never hit a girl in my life. I never will hit a girl in my life. For whatever reason, she will do anything it takes to see my life just go down the drain guy. He also said that she hated his fans. She actually hates my fans. And what she doesn't realize is my fans are the same ones that are going to her channel and subscribing to it and showing her support. I don't really appreciate you talking shit about me to my fans after I try to help you succeed. I have no fans, young kids 
court delusional. If it wasn't for my fans, she wouldn't have any subscribers at all and she completely disrespects my fan. Due to the drama with Alexia, a video from 2017 that featured Jay's ex-girlfriend Aiko resurfaced. In it, she showed multiple screenshots of Jay acting abusive towards her. Aiko also claimed he constantly accused her of cheating and stopped her from visiting her family. Let's put it this way. Jay, I was never cheating on you. He made a lot of assumptions saying that I was cheating on him when we weren't even dating during the time. He made assumptions saying that, um, I, I don't know, just everything to him meant cheating. I wasn't allowed to see my family. I wasn't allowed to come back to Toronto. Aiko ended by showing screenshots of Jay threatening to kill her during her live stream. Stop hopping on my live streams, threatening me that you're gonna kill me and that I should wait and blah blah blah. Given the massive amount of drama I'm J Station created, he then made a goodbye video and said that he was taking an indefinite break. I need to take a break from YouTube. I just need to, I just need to stop all social media, and I really just need to take some time to figure out who I am. I'm just really sorry for everything I did. And um, over the last couple weeks, I've deleted 100 million views off my channel of just like negativity. And negativity is just something I, I don't wanna do anymore. In early 2020, YouTube demonetized IMJ Station's channel due to the assault allegations. So we used the second channel 666, which was monetized. In February 2021, the BBC then reported that Jay was arrested for the assault. And the coup de grace was in March 2021 when both his IMJ station and his 666 YouTube channels were terminated. And when Keemstar celebrated on Twitter that Jay had been deplatformed, he responded by doxing him. It was evident that IMJ station would stoop as low as possible just to get back at someone. He then took to Twitter and stated he was going to sue YouTube. YouTube's the worst platform ever. Full of child and predators. Banning a kid's reaction channel. Can't believe it. Anyways guys, I'll let you know what happens when I sue them, but I'm not coming back. I have had nice ideas for money for a while now. Thanks for everything, heart. In early 2020, YouTube demonetized I'm J Station's channel due to the assault allegations, so he used his second channel 666, formerly known as Dream Team, which was monetized. He then made a video on Twitter that stated his channels were randomly deleted because he circumvented being demonetized by uploading to his second channel 666. And to the haters, like, I, I really don't know what you're celebrating for because the fact of how random this really was. I wasn't um, demonetized because I faked someone's death. You know, Mick Juggernaut gets faked his dad's death live on YouTube, bro. Everybody thought it was real. The police had thousands of people call the police station. There's been YouTubers faking their death that they died of cancer. They're good. It's not that. It's because my ex-girlfriend went to the police and made a false report that uh, I assaulted her. On April 2nd, 2021, he made a video on Instagram which spread harmful misinformation about the COVID vaccine. So I just wanted to tell you guys something while I still have the chance because as you guys know, I got banned on YouTube. And I also got banned on YouTube the morning after I made a tweet warning people about the COVID vaccine and how it's causing deaths. And 80% of people who take the second COVID vaccine shot experience insane injuries, including severe shivers where you can never move again for the rest of your life, your skin melting off of your legs, death, Bell's palsy where your mouth hangs down like this and you're gonna wanna wear the mask for the rest of your life because your face is so messed up. We need to stop this. The government has no right to tell you that you're not essential. Everybody is essential. Everyone. His video was extremely problematic because it could honestly lead to the deaths of countless people. Ultimately, IMJ Station has had a very controversial career. He profited off the debts of celebrities and used his own relationship with his girlfriend at the time, Alexia, for his own benefit. He seemed to value video views above everything else and that ironically cost him his channel. I think he was misled by his deep-rooted desire for money which caused him to make multiple bad decisions. Jay needed to realize the impact he had on his impressionable fans. He should have acted more responsible. And honestly, Jay's actions are inexcusable. He reminds me of Onision. 
I hope Jay learns from the mistakes he made and becomes a better person. On the bright side, Alexia has an ASMR channel with 250,000 plus subscribers. None of her videos feature Jay. She seems to be doing well and I hope her future is bright. I also want to say thank you to Diesel Patches for doing the intro. Please subscribe to him if you aren't already. Diesel has been on YouTube for a long time and I've watched his channel for years. It was truly an honor to work with him and I'm very grateful. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider giving me a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Peace.